Well, hello there. We're back again. I think it's number 29 of the shooting of the shits. The shits are shooting a lot these days. And I'm trying not to shit myself. Keep watching the news. It's not very easy to remain calm when you're seeing this impending nightmare that they're trying to unravel. And when you see lots of people quite happy in their cage. Yeah. Got, we're building us a cage and we're jumping right in it because they're safe from the cats. But no one can sneak up and hurt them because they're totally safe in their masks, in their false reality. But they can't fly. They're not living. Hello, Jennifer and Mo. Good to see you here. Thanks very much for tuning in to another edition of Shooting Off the Shit. I have got my I Heart Emma mug. Emma bought me this mug for Christmas. So when I first started doing the live streams, I was like, make my tea, and she was giving me this mug. And then after five or six episodes, I said, you always give me that mug. So she gave me another mug, Be Jesus. What a good Be Jesus mug. But then I had many difficult uh, technical issues. So I've been doing this one ever since, as Stephen uh, knows. Eh? So anyway, cheers the new. Just wait until a few of you get in the room. How is your guys' day, eh? I don't know where to start. It's fucking madness out there, is it not? It's absolute madness. If there's any use, want to, any particular topic to kick off on, well, I just ramble on. Um, basically, I just shared a video there. I was watching it. It's a guy called Mark Christopher, um, who, who I studied. I done a twelve-week webinar course with him back in two thousand and sixteen, roughly. And that was all about doing a live life claim, which is to step out the SESQV trust of 1666, because that trust claims all souls that are um, lost at sea. And we're effectively lost at sea if we don't tell the government we're alive, so to speak. And that's his uh, belief that that's one way to step out the control. Whereas recently I've got into the Article 61 Magna Carta stuff, which uh, I've got a picture for the meme, and I'll come up to that uh, shortly. Is it so? Basically, a good topic there. Yeah, it's been pushing in rain all day. I've took three days off, so I was off today. So normally I work outside. I did buy a new jacket today, so uh, just to prepare for me working outside because we're expecting a lot more rain in Scotland over the winter, obviously. Uh, how is baby food not essential? I thought it was just baby clothes that had actually, uh, you know, the supermarkets blocked off. I didn't know it was baby food as well. But, you know, baby food, Mo, as I'm sure you'll know, I'm sure there's lots of, you know, crap inside that. So maybe that isn't essential. Mother's milk, I do believe, is very good. Um, I think babies can live off that almost solely for at least the first six months. Some people... Uh, actually say it should be a bit longer, maybe up to two years. You know, certainly it gets a bit freaky if it goes on longer than that. But, um, yeah, fruit and vegetables, we could basically give children that and that would be much healthier, I think, than these stuff that we buy, yeah. That's true, it's not the point. You're, you're right, it's not the point, more Because we don't have access to the organic stuff, really, do we? And uh, Jennifer's there, Cumbernauld stopping people buying multiple items already. Basically, they are fucking with us so hard. It's unbelievable. And um, Barry shared with me a video of some doctors saying that um, back when the lockdown started, they were officially, doctors were officially told to do not resuscitate anyone over 45. These criminals that are running everything, they're basically, you know, they've they've got a, a massive plan and it's a ritual at the same time, you know, all this mask stuff. Um, in fact, Barry did share with me another video. I actually shared it on my wall so you can check that one out about the mask. It's a huge risk, uh, ritual going on and in that video, it showed how they're basically splitting us up, aren't they? They're, they're creating like a ritual. First of all, they take people out of their natural environment. That was the lockdown, disrupt their routine. 
and then they get them all to look the same. So in a cult, maybe they'd shave their hair, but now they're getting everyone to wear a mask. And then they're turning the mask wearers. They're making them think we're the crazy ones. See, all these lockdowns and everything, uh, all the marches, the gatherings that we have, the so-called protests, the media are you know, obviously using them to tell the, the maskies, oh, look at these idiots, they're spreading the COVID. So it's all about divide and conquer. And it doesn't matter how much, for instance, the Falkirk Herald and the Glasgow Live and Edinburgh Live, I'm posting information about the virus constantly. It doesn't matter how much good information you post. These fucking newspapers, they keep posting the COVID bullshit. I mean, who are the guys running this stuff? It's absolutely disgusting. And, uh, you know, we have to be careful at some point because I'm, re I'm responding to people on Facebook because I get quite a lot of angry faces, you know, and uh, comments. Like, for instance, today I shared uh, something, that video of the hour and a half, COVID is a proven lie, 100% proven lie. So I woke up this morning to this comment from this guy saying, anything that says anything's 100% proven is obviously a lie. I mean, what are you supposed to say to that? That was just his cognitive cognitive dissonance, basically, to stop him looking at that. An hour and a half's worth of material to prove that it's all bullshit. It just comes up with that crap. What are we actually dealing with here? You know, it's painful how people, most of the majority of people, just haven't got a brain, basically. They're completely lobotomized. Yeah, and we're accused of being the cult, yeah? And uh, just... A lot of people think Trump is the leader. I'm certainly not of that. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I keep doing that. Uh, let me shut that one down. So, I Trump, imagine being so stupid. You look at this treasonous traitor, this totally corrupt, self-serving, ignorant clown, racist, semi-literate moron, sexually assaulting. He's had 40 cases, apparently, against him of sexual assault. Pathologically lying. I mean, if Trump was a good guy, you know, he should have right the word go, said Fauci, you're talking... Pish, you're talking absolute shite about a fucking virus. Get the fuck. But no, apparently the plan is that we've all got to see all this happening. You know, we've got to see the evil so that we can uh, basically wake up to it. In the meantime, it doesn't matter about all the collateral damage, all these old people in the care homes that are dying. Some of the videos, I've seen a few videos of the actual old people themselves, and it's totally heartbreaking. And speaking of that as well, today... Somebody was, oh, the, 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 I posted the Mark Christopher video, yeah, and in that he talks about uh, this force something, force uh, manure or something. <laughs> it's not force manure, but it's something like that. Basically, there's there's shenanigans afoot, and it looks like the banks are saying that the government's responsible for your money, so they're ready to pull all your money out of the bank and stuff like that. All the fiat currency has no value anyway. So we've basically been, you know, living a lie since the Federal Reserve came into play. It's all been based on myth, you know. And we've all, I've always said it's like a house of cards. That's it, one force majeure. I was close. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm actually trying to get an interview with that Mark Christopher. Um, so we'll see how that pans out, just to get his view with regard to the Article 61 as well. But, yeah, you should watch his channels. He's got a lot of good stuff. But, um, yeah, so he's saying that the shenanigans afoot and the money is uh, could disappear from the bank account. So take your money out of the bank. Now, that brings me to today's story. I actually tried to take money out of an ATM. Now, what happened before that, right? I went to the charity shop to hand them some an old monitor and stuff, right? The, uh, the charity shop yesterday, I told the woman that there's no shouldn't wear a mask and they're like mega tense because you're telling them the truth and it conflicts with the television, you know? So I'm coming back from that and I see this woman must have been about 60 with her mother, looked about 85, very old, frail woman, and the, the older woman's wearing a mask. And I couldn't stop myself. I just looked at her and said, you know, you shouldn't be wearing that. There is no virus going around. That's really unhealthy for you. Normally I'm a bit less direct than that, but I'm just like straight to the point. I was actually quite shocked because the, the younger one, the maybe the grandmother, not the great-grandmother, but she's like, oh, really? That's very interesting. And the great grandmother, the old one, took her mask down straight away. And then I told them the website, what really makes you old.com. Please check that out. And she's like, oh, yeah, what, what really makes you old.com? We'll have a look at that. Now, I'm so that's music to my ears when you give people information and they're, they're prepared to look at it. Because every time you post a comment 
on Facebook. Nobody looks at it for a millisecond. They don't investigate this stuff. Surely all the conspiracy theorists can't be bad. Surely we're talking some sense. There were so many of us. I used to be quite alone on this fucking rabbit hole, but some other people have fell down it recently as well, like you guys, the nine folk that are on here out of the fucking millions that are on Facebook, you know? Uh, did, did they block the link to that video, the Mark Christopher video? My God, that's pretty wild. So, yeah. So anyway, then after I sent that to her, I was at the bank taking some money out and, uh, well, say taking some money out, I put the card in. Then my card came back out and I seen the woman crossing the road. I said, oh, I've got that what really makes you ill book in the car. So I went to the car, got the book, ran across to the woman and said, look, here's the book. It's 800 pages here. And uh, 800 pages. And this is real legit stuff. I've interviewed these authors. Go and check it out. And then I jumped in the car. And as I was driving away, I was like, fuck, I've left the money in the machine. So I drove around the block and I came back and the money wasn't there. So basically, I had to take another 50 quid out. So, but apparently it sucks it back in if it's not taken out after 30 seconds. So I'm hoping it's going to go back into the account. But really, I've not got that much money in there anyway to worry about <laughs> you know, taking all my money at the bank. Because that's the whole system, isn't it? They keep us on the bread line all these years to keep us, you know, they want the world being poor because if people are poor, they're more easy to control, basically. I can't believe they blocked that link, you know. It's fucking unbelievable the evil we're up against. Obviously, that has got some good info in it then, eh? Uh, it's pretty shocking. And these people, some people think Trump is like in charge of Facebook and Twitter like that, but he's such a good guy. Um, why is he, why is all this stuff getting blocked? It's incredible why we're still using this stuff, yeah? We should maybe, as I said, go into that um, treaty, uh, sorry, not treaty, tribe thing I've got. So, yeah, fucking Trump. No. Again, people talk about this uh, election, don't they, as if it's a, so, such an important thing. Well, it's just a fictitious government. They're all fucking evil. So why are we even talking about it in the first place? We should be looking to do our own thing. But right now, uh, we have to deal with them. Because if, like Mo, I don't I hope you don't mind me sharing the story, Mo. I, must, I don't think he will. But today, because he's uh, done what I've done, he's given me a bit of paper to say I'm not wearing a mask. Now the government have told his company, correct me if I'm wrong, Mo, that... Um, Basically, anyone that doesn't wear a mask, they can sack them if they don't comply with the bullshit regulations. So now he's going to have to step on the Article 61 thing. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, we're having to fight at every turn. And the thing is, basically, we have to fight. I was saying to Mo, what's the choice we have right now? I mean, I'm coming on here every night. I'm putting myself out there to basically try and help other people wake up to this because we're all in this shit together, you know? And I don't know if everyone's going to survive. Maybe only the strong will survive. But you got to do what you can. And I'm putting, I'm going to Glasgow and Edinburgh, and, you know, there's police driving around and police vans and all over the place. And you, you just have to stand up and speak your piece because there's a good song by Asian Dub Foundation. It's called Committed to Life. And in that song, it's like we can't run away from it. Because to do that is to be subservient to devils. So it's time to stand up. It's time to speak your piece. We've given a voice box. We've got a brain. Um, I should actually, you know, I've got these uh, pictures. I'll load lots of them up. It takes a wee while to shift through them. But there's this one here's quite apt. So give me two seconds. Uh, Charles Buko B Bukowski. <laughs> Sometimes my pronunciation isn't the best. But he has a quote here. And it's a picture to show it as well. You guys will relate to this one. Right? Wait till you see this. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is it? So I'll upload that. Uh, must be here somewhere. Oh, fuck. Anyway, I've lost the meme, but basically. And the meme is how ignorance is bliss, is basically the meme. The more fucking enlightened you are, the harder it is to be alive, you know, to basically uh, be happy. Because if you know the truth of what's going on, it's fucking, it makes you extremely unhappy. Anyway, let's read this one while we're on it. Breaking the Matrix. We are living in the Matrix. Almost everything you have been programmed to believe is an illusion. It's incredible 
this world that we're living in, isn't it? It's completely arse for tit. There's a good Scottish phrase, arse for tit. I found the Article 61 thing, so I'll come to that. Uh, yeah, it's totally inverted, this world, isn't it? A physical world is primarily run by a secret society of elite people who control the masses. Quite obviously, because it's incredible, the change in society. I mean, even just the workplace, I'm sure where you guys, if, if you're still in employment, the atmosphere has totally changed. There used to be, like, you know, a little bit of carefree banter going on and stuff, you know? Now it's just, it's like a morgue. And everyone's just going along with it. It's fear is ramped up to the max. Nobody is even talking to each other. They're certainly not talking about the fucking insanity that's unfolding just outside the gate. They're still talking about betting on fantasy football and shit like that. It's absolutely mental. What is it you do, Jennifer, working from home? I'm trying to get myself into that position. Like, YouTube have offered me... There's a new membership thing on YouTube. Um... I think you must be able to monetize it or something like that. I'm considering it. I don't want to actually charge for money. I'd, I'd rather get donations or offer videos or something like that, you know? And the thing is, if I start taking money from YouTube, they might start complaining about my content and get myself banned, you know? I don't really want to take money from them anyway because they're evil cunts. So basically, I'll use it while it's there, but I'd rather no give them any money to fund the fucking insanity. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the media outlets, celebrities, don't get me started on celebrities. Everyone that's at a top level of the fucking, you know, entertainment world is all in the game, basically. They're all the fucking one-eyed, black-eyed club, aren't they? There's, I can't think of any. At least Van Morrison and Ian Brown are um, re releasing songs talking about this stuff. So well done to those two, but... You would think out of all the bands out there, the ones that made it fame, big fame and fortune, like the, the Rolling Stones and stuff, they were supposed to be rebellious, rebellious weren't they? I can't, I can't get no satisfaction and all this stuff, but fucking hell, 100% basically Tavistock, same as the Beatles. If you know much about the Beatles, you know how they're sold to this idea of fucking the Fab Four? The Fab Four weren't a fab at all. They were just basically the first boy band. They were put together, George Martin controlled them and the Tavistock Institution to change society. And it's still, you know, we're still getting manipulated even more obviously, yeah? So what was this here? A Christmas tree put up. Fucking hell, a Christmas tree at the end of October. It's a bit mental, is it not? Uh, Patreon, yeah. I did try Patreon, believe it or not. In fact, I've still got Patreon set up. Basically, on my website that nobody visits, I've got tons of videos on there. I've got lots of material on there. I was trying to do it like tiered, you know, one level, one dollar a month, you get access to the tribe and you get access to this to essentially fund me to get out of the factory to serve more, basically, you know. I don't really want to make a fortune. I just don't want to fucking deal with the normies, as you say there, uh, Steve. It's fucking torture. Aye. Uh, but So right now, I've put all my material online again. Most of the stuff is going to be in the book, actually but I know a lot of people find it hard to read online, so I made it available for free. It's got a donate button there. Uh, I had one person one day donated $15, which was a bonus. And, uh, yeah, so... But I think if it was a physical copy of the book, more people are inclined to buy it. I'm actually thinking about doing an audio version as well. But then again, in the Patreon that's set up, um, I've got, like, different tiers for that. So maybe it's $10 a month. I could do a and a every week with people and stuff, you know? Just to try and fund this thing, only need like what a hundred people paying a tenner a month, and I can get out of work. But there's only fucking about ten awakened people in the UK, it would seem, and they're all in here, yeah. But I, it's so shit though how we have to fucking do this fucking thing for money. Everything's money, and all these things we buy are so art artificially inflated with paying usury and interest on fucking shit. And there's food grown on trees, that we can plant trees everywhere, but it doesn't seem to happen. So, they're using this media, we all switch on the TV all the time, we're all trapped in this fucking uh, ritual that's going on, because we're switching on the TV and paying attention to it. If everyone just came out of their hooses, you know, I keep saying that, and got as a community, then we can switch away from this matrix, but I don't know, maybe we're going through an awakening, maybe all this evil that's in our face, are just showing it to us so much, that's forcing us to wake up. You know, it's like we are getting burst in a new era and maybe not everyone's going to make it. And also on Patreon as well, this is a thing. Patreon and even YouTube and Instagram 
and dare I say Snapchat probably, they all start off as small independent things, yeah? And then when they get to a certain level of success, the big boys came in and says, we'll be having that, pay the guys off, give them a couple of million, take it over, and then basically they control it. So Pat Jones started off, I believe, quite small. They got to a certain level where they couldn't grow anymore. They've obviously had some funding. And now um, certain people, if you talk about things that you're not supposed to question, if you catch my drift, you know, the, the, the laws that you're not supposed to question some things, if you talk about that, they chuck you off the platform. And the same goes for PayPal as well. If you talk about these things, and they're all coming together, basically, to form, you know, they're all at the top connected anyway, but essentially it's all just one fucking elite, uh, you know, control grid up there. And anything, anybody that speaks out against them is not going to get funded by them to speak out against them, if you catch my drift, yeah? So, I the engineer foods, I, think I went to farm foods that, yesterday and it's just pure shite that's in there I'm looking around the stuff, even stuff I used to buy and that, it's just like, I don't want any of this so actually I went to the local farm today I paid 24 quid which is quite expensive, but I did get some bananas oranges, pears, you know, some good stuff and uh, some trying to eat healthier, but it's fucking expensive, for that 24 quid I could have filled up my basket in Tesco's with hundreds of shite you know, what can you do? And it's so frustrating that all that stuff grows on trees and we could all be eating it and surviving without paying for it. Paying to live. We're the only creatures that pay to live in this world, you know? So, yeah. In order to be free, we have to dismantle the matrix. We have to go through raising human consciousness, cleansing the lower vibrational feelings of fear, shame and guilt. It's definitely a time for growth and changing our vibration, without a doubt. And as I say, maybe this is forcing us to do that, which can be a good thing. Right now we're in the middle of it, so it seems fucking chaotic and crazy, which it obviously is, because, you know, they're, they're fucking stopping us buying birthday cards and shit in Tesco's, you know? People are start, starting to question it, yeah? Uh, for instance, this stuff here, this is, you go into your NHS. Oh, I keep doing this fucking, excuse me, uh, double-click stuff. Um, you go into the doctor surgery this is actually in the doctor surgery legit straight from the doctor the medical center if you come to the surgery without a mask we'll have to take take your temperature p.s we only have rectal thermometers choose wisely i mean what the actual fuck is that that can you believe that's real it's absolutely insane i mean they're just taking the piss if you ask me you know the nhs are 100 percent complicit the same as the mainstream media in this fucking nonsense Excuse my language, you know, that Mark Christopher in that video was talking about cursive language, you know, my book is full of curse words. To me, I understand what they mean by a curse word, you know, cursive and stuff like that. But to me, it's just a sound, you know, it's our interpretation of these sounds that um, people get offended, you know. Like in America, if you say cunt, they fucking freak out. But in Scotland, cunt could be a term of endearment, can't it? Ah, he's a good cunt, him. You can, big cunt, small cunt, bit of a cunt. But anyway, uh, we it's, it's the person who chooses to be offended, not the actual words themselves, in my opinion. But, you know, I do get the, the thing about cursive language. So, anyway, here is another one, yeah? This thing, introducing a poisonous substance into the body will never create health. You can't. How are people lining up for the vaccine? What were you saying about the vaccine trials in S Cincinnati? Apparently, they're trialing the vaccination on Cincinnati on adults and children. Hi, adolescents. Sorry, adolescents and children, young people, basically. Yeah. So, pal, lost half her tooth last week. No NHS allowed. Yep. Consultation forty pound up front, and the dentist fee is actually practically extortionate as well. I think I said yesterday, I've got a sore tooth here. It's, you know, one of those ones that you sense, you go, oh, fuck, this is going to need looked at. And you can't even afford it. It's ridiculous. And these dentists as well. Oh, hi. Did I, did I share this one? You know, was it Steve? No, who was it? I think Ross shared one of the tooth. Did you see this? All the nerve endings in the tooth. So basically, if you've got mercury in your teeth, that it connects to a nerve. I was supposed to upload that one. Uh, oh, where's that picture? 
and uh, yeah, so it affects different organs in the brain, basically. If you've uh, got all these fillings in your teeth, it's pretty bad. So I think more was that you paid ten thousand pounds to get the the mercury fillings out. So understand now why you done it when I seen that, yeah. And on the Article 61 thing, uh, Mo is trying to stand under it, and I'm going to do it in my work as well. But here, I don't know if you can read that, but basically, somebody done the fourth part of the uh, Article 61, and the police are coming back with this letter saying that it doesn't count. Basically, they're not paying attention to it. So, you know, there's going to be a fight on with that one as well. I don't know enough about the Article 61 and the power it's got. I'm still finding out about that. Again, it's all through the actual experience people are having with it, if it's successful or not, you know. So, anyway, I'm just going to rattle through these memes as best I can. Uh, I keep commenting, folks. It gives me something to waffle about. Takes me a wee while to get going anyway. What says about had a boy at work tell me about his mum? She said she's a good cunt, eh? She looks after these spazzy bastards. <laughs> Unbelievable, eh? The, the, the actual the, the level of humanity is out there is a crying, crying shame. Just what have we become? What have we turned into? Yeah, that's actually right, Mo. Um, the rebuttal letter, that's what somebody said in the comment for that. So they're gonna try and come back with us so we get the rebuttal letter, yeah. But I guess it proves that they are paying attention. So we need to march onwards and upwards with that one. Health and stuff. The doctors are not obviously out to help us. I think I posted this in a show before. But basically, all these different foods. I think uh, Steve Walker, he shared some good info with me with regard to the different types of foods and how they can help different ailment uh, problems, you know. And then there's this guy here. Remember this guy? Oh, my God. I hate putting pictures of him up because who wants to be reminded of him? But for fuck's sake, this guy was friends with Prince Charles and the Queen and the BBC. He worked for the BBC. Jim will fix it. And people are still listening to the BBC. In fact, if you ask most people, you know, are the government good? Most people will say no. But yet they're still supporting them with the masks 100%, you know? Uh, yeah, the Hunger Games, yeah, that's right, I'm actually thinking about watching that movie again, but one part of me is quite scared, you know, because look at the evil that's in this world, these policemen that fucking wait, stick a costume on, because that's all it is, it's a fucking costume, they think they've got the right to basically do all this shit to, to people, you know, push them around and just be a complete fascist cunt, it's out of order. Yeah, I've got fillings as well, you know, uh, but w what can you do? Just pull out all our teeth, basically. I'm sure I uploaded more. I've got another one about this. Uh, fascist pricks. Uh, aye, this is it here, isn't it? These policemen, they're basically like that. Just following orders. At this day and age, there was a guy in Ireland, Jim Corr or something like that, who was screaming at these people, the policemen the other day, and they're all just standing there with their masks on. In fact, yeah, there was a there was a a letter from the police. I'll see if I can get this one. I think Barry sent it to me. Uh, a police constable or something like that has actually came out and said, basically, they're no happy because they uh, they say it's unlawful all this stuff. So it's about time the police grew a set of balls as well, isn't it? Because it's absolutely disgusting what they're getting up to. Let me just download this one from Barry's message here. Uh, yeah, I'll read it to you. I'll download it so people can see it on the video. You can up, you can view it yourself. I just have to add the media. Yeah, get your fillings out. Ask up. Is it that bad? These fillings? Yeah, did they have that much of effect? Like. Mo, tell me, how did you feel after you had them taken out? Was it quite dramatic? Did you notice an actual difference? You know what I mean? So, if you do oil pooling, it may pull them out for free. Well, I've heard about that oil pooling. Yeah, what is that? You get some 
is it olive oil or something you use and you swirl it around your mouth, basically, and then that, what does that do? That takes out the toxins or something. So when you spit it out, it, um, it helps clean your gums up or something like that. Yeah, what, what is that oil pulling? I know something about that. I'm not an expert on everything, guys. You get what I mean? In fact, I don't claim to be an expert on anything. An expert actually means village idiot, if you look at the etymology of the word, which would explain a lot because everyone's out there listening to fucking experts, aren't they? But here we go. Here's something. The police chief of police has hired a judge from the CPS to put questions to the government. I mean, why does he need to question the government? Do some research yourself, yeah? So Mo noticed a big difference after they had him taken out. What did you mean? Like, more spiritually aware? Things like that? More... What was the actual difference that you felt? So there's a police force says, I'm not willing to send out men and women to enforce laws uh, that they believe are unlawful. Officers breaking down, leaving their jobs. Well done them. Due to not wanting to take part in something is actually barbaric, which it obviously fucking is. Where's people's humanity? It's gone down the fucking drain. Having to spend so much money, efforts in our facilities to police people who only want to be free. We only want to be a free human. We're born into this world. We're born free. And then immediately wallop, they slap a fucking birth certificate on you. And you're then, it's a death certificate, actually. Then we're the walking dead. Then they can fucking fuck us up the ass, basically, all our lives. And, you know, then we get put on the, the gravestone in capital letters because we're we've always been dead. Decapitated is the, you know, when you get decapitated, you're dead. So the capital letters, it's all capital letters, there's like decapitated, there's no capital. So that kind of ties in there somehow. You can, I mean, they, they use the language very clever. It's amazing, it's genius, it's incredible. I'm sure it's obviously some high level intelligence behind all this stuff because, wow, it's just a big wow. Maybe this is just a university of life. You know, we are a spiritual body in this physical. In fact, that's what Mark Christopher was saying. He was saying there is no such thing as a spiritual. The body itself is a spiritual thing. And we've kind of been hoodwinked into thinking there's this other spiritual realm. But this is the spiritual realm. This is where we create the magic. This is where we can maybe live forever if we, you know, treat our bodies right and attune ourselves to the right frequency. And maybe this reality can change, but it can still be in the physical. Something to think about, you know. We're going to get Nietzsche on. She's quite well tuned up on the old 5D aspect and consciousness. So I'll be interested to hear her thoughts on Thursday. Nietzsche is coming on, yeah? So Steve Walker, yeah, the Shiliat for his ability to remove toxins, metals from the body. Steve has actually started posting some stuff in the tribe about health. And I'm still to get the links that you guys have been sending me and posting stuff on there. But, you know, I've got so many things to do. It's the time these days just passes like that, doesn't it? Um, detox from the metal, wheat, grass, collar, coriander, slowly, yeah. We, we're fucked up, basically. Our consciousness, ours is the too bad compared to the rest. But if you think of the way we've been living and the media we've been taking in, it's no wonder people are, you know, completely lost. But here's, anyway, many police officers agree with much has been said at these fight for freedom protests. Well done. Because they're hearing the fucking truth, aren't they? They're standing there. Their ears kind of be shut off to it. And there's women, especially in the Glasgow one, there's not so much of a protest there. There's women got heartbreaking stories about the what the police have done to their children and all this stuff. And if you can't be moved by that, then you've not got a fucking soul. Do you know? So, yeah, the, the Earth is the hardest planet in the universe. Ninja training, SES, we all signed up for it. What the fuck? It does seem like some kind of initial, well, training to be a ninja, doesn't it? It does seem pretty hardcore, this place. And uh, if we could keep, like, if you read my book, it's got a story in there. I've been through a hell of a lot, and there's not even half of it in the book. I wrote my life story up to 2012 for a comedy show called Sex, Drugs and Marriage. I've still today up the previous, the years after that, which were fucking insane as well. And we're still living in insanity. I, I don't know. Basically, we've got to, I think, you don't learn anything if it's easy, do you? So I guess that's basically, we've said, aye, let's go down here, it'll be a laugh. That's right, justice for Reese, justice for Johnny. That's what they want, but I, I, are we actually ever going to get justice for these people? It's, it's uh, 
God knows. But at least they're standing up and showing a bit of fight. I don't know the full story of those those incidences. I do know that was it Reese that got murdered and the police don't seem to be too interested in investigating it. Because uh, there's not much money in it, is there? Yeah, but oh look, here's an illegal gathering here. So the police are on board to get their fucking money, yeah? The pol police officers, not the police constables. Aye? Quite a good meme, that. Don't care who your dad is. Because Trump, the other day, actually said in a video that God is the enemy, basically. And uh, then you get these things. Who really runs the world? Jesuit. I'm sure that it was probably co coding that just do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, aye. It's a crying shame. You just wonder, some people, the, the evil that's in this world, the, the, these people that carry out paedophilia and hurt children, what the fuck is actually going on in their brains? It's so, so sick. They're just completely disconnected to any form of humanity they might have ever had, you know? Uh, so, anyway. Great healing warriors have great challenges. Yeah. I think that what makes makes you be able to talk with any authority when or it makes you have empathy doesn't it if you just have an easy life then things come too easy to you so you can't really empathize with others but if you have great deal of trauma in your life and major difficulties then when you see someone else in pain it gives you that empathy to want to heal them because you've been there and you try and cheer them up i certainly know your emma here has been through a lot and uh, she had a very difficult childhood with her diabetes and other things. So, yeah, she's quite sensitive and empathetic. And there's too many just hard-headed fucking arseholes out there, you know, that don't care about anyone else. The Jesuit committee, yeah? I'm not sure what you mean by that exactly, Steve. But yeah, look at that idiot Putin is all in danger because of people. That's me at the work, basically. <laughs> I never, I've just seen this one. That's me outside, right? Because right now I've no worn a mask the past couple of days. So I'm out there happy as a pig in shite, basically. As happy as I can be at work. Just being able to breathe. It's so bad that you're so happy just to be able to breathe freely at your workplace now. And they're all inside, all fucking cursing me out. To, for being a cunt, obviously, because I'm standing up for myself and I'm the bad guy because I didn't want to pack boxes wearing a visor. I'm saying, I'm sorry, mate. I'm not playing that game. You can play it if you want, but I'm fighting for all, all I'm worth. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, the whole Jesuit thing is all... It's the military branch of the Vatican. And you've got the, you know, the Black Pope and all that. Apparently, there's a Grey Pope as well, you know. They're all just the th committee of 300 they're all just part of a big gang they've all got different names but it's names but it's essentially it's the secret society the baby eaters you know and they're all tied into these guys by the way you know this is where it goes goes to um do any of you have any info or do you believe first of all in the reptilian extraterrestrial now that's another thing this extraterrestrial maybe they are terrestrials do you know what i mean Hold on, I've got, I'm going to change this text on the screen here. Uh, maybe, well, according to Stephen Kelly, the, the reptilians and the Anunnaki and even the greys, who he calls the insect people, um, maybe they, they, he says they were on the earth first and we were created to be the slave species. I've got the book Michael Tellinger's Slave Species of God, yeah? And that's why we are so subservient to these people because we've always had that we have lords and masters that tell us what to do and we're used to being the slaves so it's so hard for us to step up and to put an end to these guys' control. And if you, I think, uh, who's it? Steve and Stephen used to are both getting through the Stephen D. Kelly book where he talks about the, the Getty, which is why I keep talking about it at public meetings. No one else is really that I've heard of. Well, David Icke talked about it in the past, but he's not having much dealings with it, talking about it at the rallies. But this is what explains so much stuff on the surface. It's because the ones underground um, have got this agenda, yeah, to wipe us 
offers, you know, controllers more because we're probably getting too out of control. So they've got to get this AI total technocratic dystopia in place to fucking really control us because our human spirit has got some DNA in it or some souls here from Palladians or whatever to challenge these guys' control. But apparently they broke a treaty with God or something because they, they were supposed to stay underground and they were supposed to not create any wormholes and stuff like that, but they started to do these things. So now God has given us the power to basically take them out. So we have to do that by... Basically, we've all went to the Getty en masse. There's 350 million people in America, apparently. Turn up there, get down there, get these guys. There's a guy called Phil Schneider who done some great talks. And he went down there and there was Anunnaki and Nephilim down there. And basically, that's where they all are. There's a whole you know underground network of cities down there, lakes and all kinds of shit under the world under the earth, you know? So, Mo, you said you've seen a shape-shifting person. I've seen quite a few things on YouTube, you know? You see, like, some of the scale... Who was it? Bush. What's the daughter's name? Jenna? Jenny Bush or something like that. Jenna Bush. There's some videos of her, like, totally fucking glitching like fuck with the reptilian stuff coming in. Uh, Stephen Magner's seen a shape-shifter. When you see a shape-shifter... Was it a physical thing? What did you actually see? Did you see the eyes go reptilian? Did you see scaly skin? Or was it like a holograph? Was there human code? Because I believe they can, the reason they eat the blood and stuff like that is to they have to kind of really concentrate to hold a reptilian uh, shape back and to hold a uh, human shape in this reality. But after a while, they find it hard to do that. So therefore... They need. To, that's why they break down, and someone will say, "Hey, hey, give them a quick nudge," and they kind of concentrate and get their human shape back, and then they go away and eat some blood, you know. But yeah, I believe there is like the full-blooded reptilians underground, but the hybrids are the ones running the show, basically here. Yeah. So yeah, the, I've heard the queen is a reptilian, according to Stephen T. Kelly. She's under the ground. Uh, I've heard the reptilians are split fifty-fifty and having their own rebellions. Cause, yeah. Some people, I've, I've seen a video of David Icke as well. He was glitching one time. Maybe he's, you could say, a good reptilian. And I, if, I'm sure you guys, you maybe seen the TV series V, yeah? I used to love that back in the 80s. And remember there was some good reptilians in that, <coughs> trying to help the humans as well, yeah? So maybe they're not all evil. Maybe some of them have a heart because we are being treated horrific. We've got so much love in us, but it's no getting the chance to shine, you know? It's like a clear window that's been covered and caked with dirt, and it's got all these layers of shit on it that we have to wipe clean to get to our true essence, aye? The eyes skin flicker a light, the eyes went to fuck. Someone else said that they've seen somebody's eyes just turn black. I can't remember who that was, but recently they said it was Edward, no, it was actually David Icke. He, he, he says it was just Edward Heath just by coincidence one time and his, his eyes went pure black. I think this was before he even got into the reptilian stuff, yeah? So, Nietzsche is here saying you can command all reptilian parts, leave my body and energy field now. Yeah, we'll talk about that on Thursday if you've got any any uh, wee tricks and trip, uh, secrets, Nietzsche, let us know them. That Denver airport as well, that's covered in pictures of reptilians, isn't it? And you've also had this, this was put up, I'm sure this comes from Denver Airport as well, quite a few years ago. It's incredible how they put this stuff out there and uh, it comes to pass. Like, there was another one recently, remember in Buckingham Palace, where the unicorn magically disappeared from the gate and everybody thought that was a symbol of something, you know? In fact, some people thought it was to do with that Greg Hallett becoming the true royal. He was trying to claim that. But as soon as that uh, unicorn got taken down, you want to do a search for the unicorn that appeared at Denver Airport. It's pure fucking evil, that thing. So maybe it just moved. Maybe that's a symbol of the Queen moving to because I think underground Denver Airport's a base as well. So, yeah, they, they use their symbols in the queue. There's an, oh, their signs and symbols will be their downfall. Well, it's not coming quick enough, you know. It might take quite a while. Maybe we're just 
starting this fight, who knows what the fuck's going to happen? I wish I could just. <coughs> I wish people would just understand the virus isn't the fucking real. How hard can that be? I keep telling people on every Facebook stream that's talking pish about it. And uh, it was even Dr. fucking Fauci, apparently, said this about the, the flu. <laughs> I, I think I posted this on Facebook and got fact-checked for it. I think it's a fact-check thing, that, but a lot of people are saying it's true. That the Spanish flu didn't die of the flu, they died of bacterial pneumonia, and it was caused by wearing masks. And if you look at the people out there wearing masks, I mean, it can't be too hard, it can't be too long before all these people start getting ill. You know what I mean? We have to be waking up pretty quickly, rapid style. And I just don't understand. As I said to Mo, Mo gave me a call because my number's on my website. I was quite surprised somebody was actually on my website, so thanks for that, Mo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had a good chat. He phoned me up and, oh, God, I just, I, I don't know if I was ranting to you, Mo, but I was quite passionate because it's fucking insane when you're out there, out and about and seeing the, the mass zombies. It's bad enough when they're wearing the masks to go into a shop when they might think, all right, I have to do this. But when they're all walking around the street wearing a mask, especially the old people, where I live is a wee quiet village and there's so many old people wearing, walking around wearing a mask like that one today. And all it took was me for to say, take that fucking thing off. I, I said to her, I, I think it's heartbreaking when you see that. Oh, by the way, I just noticed my T-shirt. I've got a Knob Stewart T-shirt on. Ever had Jenny you know, Day days? I actually think now I should have changed it to ever had ever had Jenny you know, Day lives. <laughs> How can I get that? Ever had you any of the lives? That's what it should be. All right. Look, see that there? I don't know if you can see. There's a big tear. Where is it? There's a big tear coming down there. When I had my my son was a child, he stuck his finger in my eye, and it scratched my retina. And I went to the hospital, and they put some iodine in my eye, and they could see the woman going, "Oh, look! You can see the, the this baby's fingernail right there. The shape of the fingernail on my retina." The trainee nurse. But anyway. So I ever had one of those lives, that's what it feels like, isn't it? Fucking hell, it's not just one of those days, it's just a life full of fucking full-on God help us all, hi. Eh? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's another thing, Jennifer. That At the time, remember that in 2012, there was that, all the NHS beds thing. That was a pure ritual, everybody knew even beforehand. Who was the guy? Was it Rick Clay? Who exposed, there was supposed to be a big... Uh, terrorist attack, but he exposed it uh, before it happened. Even the 2012 site uh, symbol was like Zion, and he exposed it, and then he died not long after. But during the time there was that NHS thing, it didn't make any sense, did it? It's like, what the fuck is this all about? All the dancing nurses, and then a few years later, we've got all the dancing nurses and the COVID, and there was like the big bed. That had actual Boris Johnson there. I mean, it couldn't be anyone else. It was obviously him. But apparently all elections are all fair. You know, we live in a democracy, so we must be free. That's the biggest fucking con game going, is it not? You know? Yeah. And all the award ceremonies that they do. Yeah. All the Madonna rituals and fucking, who else? Rhiannon and all that. It's all pure ritual, isn't it? It's black magic rituals going on. Even the Glastonbury stage with the pyramid. And we all give our energy to it. Yeah. And uh, we all empower it through our consciousness because that's what they use. They use black magic. And here's what a lot of people are doing, isn't it? We're all just jumping off the cliff, aye? Eh? A lie doesn't become the tr truth. Wrong doesn't become right and evil doesn't become good just because it's accepted by the majority. And it, it just repeat things over and over and over again. Just keep repeating it. Just keep repeating it. And basically, you know, that's true because the TV said it. It's obvious, isn't it? So what Steve's saying, I've seen that they're saying the symptoms COVID are a drop in IQ. So in essence, brain damage. The mass are doing the same. They're pre-programming the, the public to be used to the idea that their I, IQ. Well, I actually posted something. There was that German scientist, wasn't there, saying that the mass thing causes irreversible brain damage. And I posted that on Facebook, and that was like the first fact check I got. That was just a couple of weeks ago. I still can't believe they removed that Mark Christopher thing. But anyway... That just proves that they didn't want the truth out there, did they? The top 1% are sitting it right now. I think that is the case as well. It seemed to be pushing us so hard because people are going, bing, 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 what the fuck's going on? Bing, bing, bing. And there's a lot of this uh, 
common law knowledge coming out. I didn't know this. Spain on full lockdown until May 2021. I mean, that's obviously not about a virus at this point, is it? I mean, it was there from the start, but fucking hell. Yeah, I do think Glastonbury is a spiritual place, but again, they have these ceremonies. It's where they take these spiritual places, these places that have the vortexes, you know, and well connected into the grid. That um, So that if they have a ritual there and they use it for negative intent, it affects the whole more than it would just having it in a random field somewhere. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure if I can read this one, but I'll bring it up. Uh, what's that say? We open our eyes, we think we're seeing the whole world out there. But what has become clear, and really just in the last few centuries, is that what you look at, the electromagnetic spectrum, we are seeing less than one-tenth billionth of the information riding on there. So what we call the visible light, uh, that, so we call that visible light, but everything else passing through our bodies is completely invisible to us. Yeah. So yeah, our eyes don't see it all. Uh, Emma even told me the other day there about a camera lens being like a human eye where it has to turn images upside down to see it the correct way. Because you know our eyes do that as well. So once you learn that, it's like fucking hell. What kind of world do we live in? This is quite mental, isn't it? It is just a mindfuck. I mean, I'm here speaking as truthful things as I can, you know, to try and get onto some kind of truth. That's what I've been doing. As soon as I watched that first video, catch you later, Mo. Thanks for joining us again. As soon as I, as soon as I watched that first video about David Dyke uh, turning off the tide and I realised it was bullshit, then I'm stripping away the layers, like trying to get to the truth. But really, what do we actually know? I think a sign of intelligence is knowing how little you know. It's the ones out there who think they know everything. They're the ones you've got to watch out for. You know? And if these masks, obviously, again, why don't people understand that a virus can only be seen through an electron microscope, so they're measured in fucking nanomillimeters or whatever. You know, they're absolutely minuscule. And the, the masks that they're wearing, the gaps in them is like a football net compared to a pea getting shot through them, you know? So, if the masks work which apparently that's all saving us from impending doom, you know, then let the world carry on, let people go and see their families. Oh, it's all right, we've got our mask on, happy day at the beach. But no, they don't do that. And when you see the children, when you see the children in masks, that just disturbs me greatly. It really does. My heart bleeds, you know. I want to fucking get the parents and tell them to have a word with themselves. It's so, so evil. There's no other word for it. It really is evil. So bad. Uh, yeah, what was that link? Did you send the link to the Mark Christopher thing, Steve? Yeah, yeah. You speak your truth. You do what you can, and I'm quite open to being proved proved wrong. You know, please show me. See, that's the thing. I don't cling on to any of these beliefs. Do you know, I don't. I don't have a belief system that depends on other people believing them or even me believing them. I just uh, where the fuck did that go? I just say what I can. And if somebody can prove me wrong, then happy days at the beach. I'll stand corrected. I'm not here to defend a belief system. Belief has the word lie in it, doesn't it? So, who knows, really? I keep my mind open to different possibilities. I just lost those two things I was trying to put up there. And I never uh, closed them down, so I don't know where they went to. Anyway, when you see things like this, it's a pretty sad day on earth, isn't it? God help us all. Next time you're feeling stupid, just remember these people are walking around with pods. <laughs> I don't hate. I hate it when they say there's a virus with a 9.8 fucking recovery recovery rate. That really does my head in, because it's, there's no such thing as a fucking contagious virus. So get that one out of your out of your head. People are still propagating that myth. A virus particle one thousand thick of of a human hair. Yeah, exactly. It's minuscule. Good to see you on the show, show, Jan. I don't know if you other guys know Jan. Jan came to see me at the Edinburgh Festival. I actually drove past the newsroom today, Jan. Uh, I went into Edinburgh briefly to pick up a monitor and I brought it back home and, it, and it's fucking tiny compared to my TV screen. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to sell the monitor. Just my TV screen's not got good resolution on it, whereas a monitor's going to be much sharper. But I'm kind of used to the big screen. Anyway. I did have a good screen that I brought back from Turkey. It was a really good, good sized screen, and I had 
basically this uh, thing behind me. This one here I've got behind me is a uh, clothes rail. But Emma had these stands that I was using and I knocked one over one day and it fell and battered my screen and totally fucked it. So shit happens at the end of the day, eh? So what you're saying there, Jennifer, we've seen a little girl only about six staring at us in Morrison's, yeah. That's it. You see the kids, look at the ones now. Look at you because you've not got a mask on. They're like, how's he not wearing a mask? Yeah. Two minutes later, older girl, no mask, happy singing, made me smile. It's such a crying dream. Like today, we were driving home from Edinburgh and there was a school getting out. Now, most of the kids, children, not young people, we have to stop. Kids is a baby goat and I don't think children's a good term anyway. But anyway, we use these words, don't we? But the young people, three or four of them maybe still wearing their masks when they're outside the school. That makes me fucking, you know, my heart bleed, basically. Because I've still got a bit of my humanity left, you know? And then, yeah... We're, people are believing this pandemic, but where are the bodies? I can't believe they're actually buying it without seeing bodies pile up, because that's what we're told, wasn't it? The bubonic plague, we all had this idea of all these bodies piling up everywhere. But it's all just basically bullshit. Just the television tells us it. And Nicola Sturgeon basically coming on, I think she was on TV the night, saying fucking two tier, three tier, and different parts of Glasgow and shit like that. Oh, I don't know, it's just all complete torture, isn't it? Right, how did I get rid of this? Uh, aye. So yeah, Nicola Sturgeon, there's Nicola right there, eh? Because these people are part of the Fabian Society, a lot of them. Tony Blair was a Fabian member. Who else? Who's that? Russell Brand, he was in the Fabian Society. And there's a few pictures of Russell Brand and David Icke together having a good old laugh. Couldn't stand that Russell Brand, see when he was popular. He's still trying to keep it going on YouTube now, but... Oh my God, one guy, it just gets my goat, if you know what I mean. Goat, they're, they're, they're always doing that as well, isn't it? Who's the goat, the greatest of all time? They're always, any chance they have got to stick the goat fucking in there, they do it. Aye. Aye, the postcode checker, there's something else insane going on as well. Uh, what's this one here we've got? Aye, back to this thing about the flu. Yeah, that's what they've done. They they got all the influ influenza. There's Navy volunteers tried to get it. None of them felt sick. I mean, who would volunteer to get some kind of mad test on them like that? I don't know. It must be pretty hard. But there's people these days that are getting paid and volunteering to take the COVID vaccine. So they are out there, aren't they? But yeah, none of them felt sick. Basically, it's never been proven, right? It's, uh, they're, they're, they're going along with the story of this fucking virus and it's never, ever been proven. There's Steve there saying, bit by bit, we're breaking the program. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just keep dropping in what really makes you ill, what really makes you ill. Because as far as I can, say, can see, these guys are on the ball, even more so than Andrew Kaufman and uh, Thomas Cowan. Because these, there's a lot of people still talking about these exosomes and claiming that these viruses are getting excreted from cells and they're serving a purpose to get rid of toxicity. And they've talked quite a lot with Don and David about this and they're adamant that that's there's no evidence for it. So if there's no evidence for it then it doesn't happen as far as I'm concerned, you know. So they just say they're dead bits of cell and that to me makes more sense. They're just dead cell debris going around to get flushed out the body and if you treat your body badly, you're going to have more cells breaking down so therefore there's more viruses. So people will say, oh look, there's more viruses, that's causing it, but they're not the causal agent. You know what I mean? They're just the effect of the maltreatment that we give our bodies. There's all kinds of stuff that we should be uh, listening to. I'm sure you guys, uh, Jennifer and Steve and that, will be aware of these kind of things, yeah? These are things that we should be putting out there, getting people focused on uh, how to get better, basically, yeah? How to heal. Because we are all essentially traumatised. Because this world is basically traumas. <laughs> it's fucking trauma, man. 23 undertaker companies in the Netherlands received support for lack of work. Wow. Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? Because a lot of people nowadays are saying that the death rate has went down because not so many people are taking the doctor's drugs, funnily enough. Just a coincidence, nothing to worry about. During 50 years, concluded, uh, yeah, what's that saying? 
uh, something, something. I'll read it. During a research career lasting more than 50 years, I have concluded that the following procedures are unsuitable for studying the biology of living cells in intact animals and plants. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, read it for yourselves. Can't be arsed with that. <laughs> Too complicated. My, my throat's hurting, to be honest with you. I'm a bit sore. It takes a lot to fucking sit here every night and blab, blab on for an hour. You know what I mean? I'm doing my best, folks. Some people just keep quiet. That does my fucking head in. See, you, you can't keep quiet. If you have knowledge, I think, you've got a responsibility to speak out. Otherwise, you're as complicit in the action, aren't you? The complicit in the evil. So that's where I do what I do. I tried, I did stop the shooting the shits for a while. I was doing other things. I was speaking out at talks and stuff, but I feel better at least for saying my piece every night. So at the end of the day, I'm doing something. And you know what? I'm not getting a lot of comments, but for instance, today on Facebook, I got a comment saying, what did the guy say? Your videos really make my day or something like that. Just wee things like that does help a lot. Uh, it does g me up that you're having an effect on somebody, you're touching somebody, you know, you're, and uh, that's all we can do is try to set an example and effect change by doing the right thing and basically leading by example, you know. There's not enough people lead by example these days, is there? Indoctrination takes decades of training and ma manipulation. People are really, 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 it's unbelievable the level of fucking brainwashing that's going on out there. Donald Trump, yeah, these people think Donald Trump is going to, against the deep state. For instance, in his latest speech I've seen him do, he said that, you know, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe's just there just so fucking they can have this debate. I mean, what kind of competition is he for fuck's sake? Is that the best they can do? Jesus Christ almighty. But, yeah, He's there so Trump can obviously slag him off and we can all have a good laugh. Oh, sleepy Joe, come on. Yeah, get Trump four more years, four more years. And then he's slagged off creepy Joe and said, oh, he's worse than Hillary. He's, you know, he's even worse than Hillary. And Hillary, Hillary was really bad. But remember, when they were having that debate with Hillary, he says, yeah, because you'd be in jail. Well, why is she not in fucking jail? Apparently, you know, She's been taken down by the Q team and we've not seen much of her, so it's all happening behind the scenes, eh? My man seen you at Glasgow and that's how he found your page. It's great to know someone down the road is on the same path. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I said yesterday, we are kind of dotted all about the place, but basically it's good that we can come on the internet and use these tools to kind of give ourselves some, you know, kind of companionship because if this was all going down, you would think you were going crazy, you know, just in this alone, you know. And it's that close. How how close are we? The information's all on the internet. I mean, I don't know you guys have quiet, silent wars. What was it? <clears throat> what's the document called? Silent weapons for silent wars. <clears throat> That's obviously what's happening with the internet. Then you've got other books that were written in the past. Even Brave New World in 1984 were wake-up calls. Do you know if you add the numbers... 1984 together, you get 22, and then if you put a zero in, then you get the 2020. So you just wonder if that was a coincidence or not, yeah. And uh, just like the WDO, yeah, the US, yes, yeah, all these politics is just pure theater, politics, many bloodsuckers, poly, pol you know, means many ticks, bloodsucker. That's what that is. <clears throat> and here's the thing, yeah, this is a fact, by the way. An actual fact: Men who wear masks have smaller testicles. I actually think they have the testicles have actually shot up their fucking insides. You know, got a pair of ovaries now. In fact, women, women have got their their ovaries have dropped and they've got fucking balls these days, haven't they? So many women, I'm so impressed with how they're taking a stand and speaking out. And I'm actually disgusted at quite a lot of men who are just playing football on the fucking computer, playing FIFA, heads up their arse. They're, you know, their families are in danger. Even the guy, managers at work and stuff, I'm like, why aren't you looking at it? It's quite important. You're you're going around telling everybody to wear a mask. Surely there's a level of personal responsibility comes into play here, whereby if people start dropping down ill, 
are you just doing your job just like the police one? Surely you should be encouraging people. Like, fair play, my boss did say maybe that's going to take more people like you. I was like, fucking hell. Thank you, thank you for, you know, being reasonable. But he's in a position where he, he can't not fucking obey the orders. Aye? Well, so he thinks anyway. But it'd be good if the manager stood up and said that as well. Lead by example again. See, we really have to get each other's back, don't we? We have to get our own food in place and so be there for each other so when all these jobs and all this shit happens that we can support each other instead of fighting each other like Hunger Games, isn't it? It's going to be basically us awakened ones. <laughs> Hopefully we can meditate and vibrate ourselves out of here when the shit hits the fan, you know what I mean? Yeah, you say Poland and Kenya, but what about Nigeria? Do you know what's going on in Nigeria right now? It's apparently this fucking mega, mega insanity kicking off there. Like, are the police still going around just murdering people and shit like that? It's pretty bananas. I've actually been to Kenya, and when I was there, it only took me two weeks, I, I actually hated the uh, food shortages, yeah. I actually hated the uh, Kenyan government because the way they treated their people was absolutely disgusting. So, anyway, we're coming towards the end. I've done, oh, 66 minutes. My throat's sore, to be honest with you. So, wait a minute. I can visit anyone, but I can't go to a pub or restaurant, aye. That's a nonsense as well, isn't it? Let me just take this off. Yeah. Protocols in place. Blah, blah, blah. You wear your mask going into the place. You sit down, take it off, and then your mask is not required. But then if you want to go to the toilet, you put your mask on again. Again, to me, this is all just mockery. It's complete and utter mockery. And people go along with it. It just shows the IQ level of people out there. It's so, so bad. It's so incredibly low. Complete retardation. Not a single bit of critical thinking. Controlled by government and media propaganda. Good little sheep. Fifty Shades of Obey. Actually, you've seen a woman today. Emma seen her driving along at, at traffic lights with a mask on, trying to talk on the phone, you know. It's like, give us a fucking break. Uh, anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap this up. One more slide. Let's let's finish with this one. Uh, uh, basically, conspiracy theories turned out to be true. Because uh, we're getting some grief being these conspiracy theorists. How people are still clinging on to this conspiracy theory, you know, or if you, if you think differently from the government's complete agenda, I actually posted that on Instagram and some guy, actually another comedian, says, oh, so how did they turn out to be true? What 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 ones turned out to be true? And I just basically answered, they live, you know? <laughs> because we're actually living in that right now, aren't we? With the aliens being the reptiles, whatever. And we need to take the TV station out because that's majorly powerful. Oh, again, this makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. This, uh, the way, what they're doing to children in the schools, isn't it? Look at that. That's that's pure evil right there. I mean, children should be free and playing and happy and joyful. They're the ones that bring joy into the world. And as we get older and beat down by the system, we become more and more depressed. But actually, I don't believe in children going to school and all spending time with each other. Children should be mixing with adults all the time, you know, instead of, you know, each other because... Well, they can, can, can control these here, but we should be bringing them up to our level and inspire them. We're very clever little people, basically. And this schooling totally dumbs them down, and it's all 100% wrong. Aye? I was going to show this one when Mo was on, because he's having a hard time at work. But basically, yeah, that's what they've got in us, yeah? That's how you'll not get a job these days, because uh, they'll just check the Facebook page. Anyway. I think we're done for tonight, folks. My throat's killing me. It's a bit sore. We'll be back tomorrow night for another one. And then Thursday, we've got Nietzsche coming on. So look forward to that one. And uh, thanks for your time. If you want to do a video testimonial, remember that? I need some video testimonials. And I need to test the system. Steve, Stephen uh, Magner's done one for me. I don't know. Did you have a problem? If you're still on Stephen Magner's, did you have a problem with uh, doing it, because he ended up sending me a direct message, which you can do as well. 
But if you go there and try and test the system out for a less than two minute video testimonial, anyone out there would be appreciated. Thanks very much. Maybe you want to go to my website, Billy Watson TV, and you can read some of my poetry and comedy skit as well. If you want to then comment on that, would be good. What's this? Lemon, ginger, and apple. I've actually got some apple cider vinegar in there. So lemon and ginger. That sounds good. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. We'll be chatting tomorrow night. Try and hang in there, folks. I know it's no easy. I appreciate your uh, time because I can't do it without you. You know what I mean? Try and drag some other folk in here because it's okay us talking to ourselves, but we're all aware of the shit. How do we get the other ones woke up? If anyone's good at keywords on YouTube, I need some help with that as well. But anyway, thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.